Hey everybody, Wolfie here, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play of the Dark Pictures Antholog Antology, but also known as Man of Medan. Oh, so yeah, this is, if you don't know, um, this is also made by the developers of Until Dawn. Um, and let me just check, see if I've got the... Settings are all right. Hold on. Uh, yep. English. Yes. Subtitles. Definitely. Accessibility. Q to E. Disable Q to E timeout. Hold to complete. E button mash. Uh, I think that's what. Fine. But yeah, this game is by the same developers of Until Dawn. So yeah, and I'm getting a very Until Dawn vibe with this. Uh, so yeah. Obviously, play alone, but no one else. Uh, new story, new story. Yeah. Man of Medan. Oh, that sounds. Oh, that's epic. <laughs> okay. Gives that cinematic feel. I love it. All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <coughs> Whoa. Stop the uh, presses. Okay. Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Well, that isn't creepy at all. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Joe, don't say Marcus. Okay, use... to choose... Oh. Free to choose. Um, will I be rich or tell me about my son? Yeah. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh, is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Okay, use. Are free to choose. Ah, so this is exactly like Until Dawn. Okay, uh, bamboo tile. It's nice. Can this tile? Tell me. You saw something? Okay, press and hold R2 to pick up the objects. Use R3 to examine. Okay. Nice. It's the same mechanic. It. It looks like a fish. Looks like a fish. Dude, that is a fish. I know what a fish is. That's a fish. It doesn't look like a fish. It's a fish. <laughs> That's a fish. It's a it's just a fish. Your财富可能来自任何方向。但是当这样的风吹来,死亡和厄运 <laughs> Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud. Cryptic, I'm let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. Oh, come on, it's only two quarters. You can spare two quarters. How much is that? I'll How give much it is a that? Whirl. 
actually in, in America. So I don't know. Okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah, it's just like on total. Come on, put it up a notch. Oh, it's a bit of a timer now. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, you challenge me now, ah, woman. Whoa! Uh, put you in the foot. Okay, that was weak. Whoa! Oh God! God, the time is quick. Jesus Christ! Whoa! Whoa! Uh, punch! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm the Hell yes, I am. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, don't you hey, dare Chuck, call we me. We better get back to the ship. Bitch. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really on, need Charlie. to get back. We'll get back to the ship. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Hold in two. Cargo hold two. What's going in cargo hold two? Crossbow. That's usually bad. My experience with school and crossbow and on things is bad. Uh, I'm getting a really bad vibe of what's in there because of the school and crossbows. I'm getting a bad. I, get, I, 50 I borrowed cents. two quarters off you. 50 cents. Come on, man. Hey, I don't know how much is two quarters, buddy, buddy, actually. Whoa, what the... <laughs> uh, whoa! Is that necessary? Give my medical opinion. These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. So was punching me necessary? If I'm drunk? Throw the other in the brig. And keep in there. Well, Sarge is charming, isn't he? <laughs> what a charming chap he is. And then she stumbles right in front of him and he ends up punching me to the ground. Thanks, Sarge. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's definitely not good. Oh, oh god, the body's gonna come alive now. Are they, are they, are they, are they gonna rise up? Oh shit. <laughs> AM June 22nd. Okay, so I'm Joe. And is this my son? Can I turn around? Two pops come back soon. Okay. Um I guess I leave now. I leave. And it's locked. Who locks a sick bay? Who the hell 
Locks a sick bay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Exactly! My thoughts exactly. Okay, I've got a key. Seriously, what? How did he end up in there? How did he end up dead in there? That's what I want to know. Jesus Christ. This is very ominous. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here break. already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. No, me too. Break. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. First, I want to go exploring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, in that private chat, Arles uh, Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the US Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Okay, oh, so, oh, this is the... This is what happened between me and Charlie. Got it. Oh, there's a safe there. Can I get a safe? Uh, Brig, week 27, Monday, Arthur Miller, private, petty theft, one day Brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker, items recovered and returned to Urona. Wednesday, David Davis, private, trespass two days Brig, found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there, uh, flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, uh, what does PFC mean, I don't know. Uh, Lewis Brand, public tox intoxication, one day Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication, one day Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel on shore leave. Okay, so we're not the only ones to be completely drunk and having a little, have a little, little bit of a, you know, confrontation. I mean, come on, what, what have we got? We got we're allowed to have a bit of it. Saturday, Charles Anderson, private public intoxication, brawling 10 day A's brig, found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave. Joseph Roberts, private public intoxication, brawling 10 day A's brig, found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave. Assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. That's me. Am I Joseph Roberts? Because I was then in the sick bay. <laughs> okay. Oh god, what the frick? That blood. What the hell's blood doing there? Uh, I don't think I can get into that safe. Right, let's go, Charlie. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Uh, press X to time with the heartbeat. Okay, so, it's, oh, it's like the don't, it's like the don't move, but. Okay. Don't it. Is that our Sarge? What's he doing? Why are we hiding from the Sarge? You're loony. Why are we hiding from the Sarge? Hiding from the 
personnage, mon sang. Oh, he's gone moony. It's, it's something about that gas made us gone moony. Or something. It, it has to be, right? I mean, we know it leaked. What the hell? I mean, we saw it leak. I mean, I, you know... What the... What okay, Charlie, you did not just see that, right? There was a little boy that just ran across us down here. And there's a little bit, and there's a bit of mist on the floor. So. That could. You see? So, are we breathing that in? It's making us go nuts. Hey, Charlie, help! Seems predictable. Wait, go. Oh, tap, 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 Whoa! Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, you fuck no, fuck no, you definitely. <laughs> Jesus! Oh god, what happened to this poor SOB? Jesus Christ. What the hell are they dying? God damn, another step? Damn. What's going Who's on? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it. Buckley. What the Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. What the hell happened to him? It's like he got terrified to death. Jesus. Oh, that's a nice shot. Am I not gonna question the mist that's on the floor or something? Yeah, hold down. I want to walk faster. Yes, I know. I'm gonna walk down here actually. Just to be difficult and just like, you know. Just to be nosy. Because that's me, apparently. I'm very nosy. <laughs> yeah, am I not gonna question? I'm pretty sure that. So, uh... You know, but we can see the mist. Is it just me? Right? Or are you getting a Charlie? real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess Hey, just because you're a guy doesn't mean you can't talk about your feelings. One. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah. Fine. Agree. Yeah. More human, Charlie. What the... Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... Oh, God, I'm going no. You feeling I'm, all I'm, right? I'm, I'm seeing my son, aren't I? Am I seeing my son? I, I, I'm, I'm going mad when I'm seeing my son. Well, I think I'm going mad. I think I'm going bonkers. Charlie, get over here. What the? A knife. I think I'm, I'm, I'm. I think I'm the smart one here. I grabbed a gun. I've got the good idea. Charlie. What's going on? Hey. I'm going mad. Come here. I'm going. I'm an, Oh, I'm loony. I'm loony. Doing loony. What the? That's not Charlie, is it? Oh God, no. Charlie. Oh, what's happening to me? Towards him. A 
Okay, I definitely won't walk towards him. Nope. Uh, is that gonna help? Shoot at him there. Yeah, didn't think so. Whoa! Freaky. And... That's killing me. Yeah. I'm dead. Oh shit. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Hello. Hi. And welcome to my repository. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's very nice. You have a lot of books. I might add. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> You have a score on your desk. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. 
You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the Reminds outcomes the totems. you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Well, thanks for that. Don't jinx me, Mr. Curator. <laughs> I don't want to be jinxed. I like to keep people alive. Yeah, this is my main gang. Am I going to see my main gang now? Brad, Alex's brother. Innocent. Witty. Brad, Duke of Milan. Ah, that's the boat. Alex, Brad's brother, Julie's boyfriend, insecure and motivated. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Um, it's embarrassing. Uh, I had to I work. Wanted yeah. to. I just didn't. I didn't have time. You know, I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm a busy, busy boy. <laughs> Whoa! Careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? so don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, no good people. Uh, I was invited. Um, yeah, I was invited. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? <laughs> Alright, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man... The long distance thing, with Julia, it's been rough. Uh, it's been two weeks. Uh, must be tough. Yeah, I gotcha. It must be tough. No worries, man. Be nice. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? It's just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? It's hard to know what's the right thing to do. Um, sent sentimental. Go yeah. with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Oh. Hey! Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless and excited. Conrad, Julia's brother, relaxed and foolhardy. I'm guessing the jokester of the crew. <laughs> Aww. Oh, <laughs> sorry. 
Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Conrad looks familiar. It's good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know His you. His face looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Wanna crack the cold one with me? Every second. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Uh, I get seasick. Uh, let's be relaxed, all right? Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. Yeah. Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your oh, shit. God, don't call me that ever it's again, shit. please. Oh, that sounds so weird. Radical. You ever do any diving before? Uh, uh never. Um, no, actually. Let's be honest. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. It's gonna be gentle. Uh. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Yeah, I think I'd take those words back. Fliss, captain of the Duke of Milan, courageous and impatient. And she's got a leg tattoo, that's badass. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but... Uh... Hells yeah. So is everybody on board and ready to go? She is impatient, isn't she? <laughs> so, I like her. She looks like the type of person that doesn't take no shit. And I like a character that like that. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. Alex, Duke of Milan, offshore North French Polynesia. What about 5 30 p.m. over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Uh, frustrated, optimistic. Optimistic, uh, I'm thinking. Yeah. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh, can't dive? Yeah, what the hell? Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Don't worry, we'll behave. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? <laughs> we should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, babe. Uh, so, uh, can I talk? Can I talk to you? There's a little yeah. gap in the tail. Take a look. Ooh, nice. So look.
Oh yeah, I can see it. Yep. Oh yeah, that's a World War II bomber, that is. Is that it? No, I think that's it. Hmm. Almost got it's the Julia. Gear to go. Who is our girlfriend? Uh, yeah, new hand. Yeah, it'd be nice. Hand. Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Um. Uh, making a full heart on the ship. Play it cool for now, yeah. Yeah, I know. Let's just yeah, play let's be cool. cool cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to exactly. keep me this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force me. <laughs> Damn. Right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hey, wow, hey. that messed with Julia. Oh, hello. Oh, God, I really shouldn't be snooping. I really shouldn't be snooping. Oh, but I want to. Full name, uh, Felice is Dubois, uh, 91460 W, 10th of the 3rd, 93. I really shouldn't be snooping. But, yeah, I, no. <laughs> I really shouldn't be snooping. It, it, it's her, it, it's her business, it's hers, and you know, I really shouldn't be doing it. What the hell? What am I looking at here? Well, okay. That's Brad. Premonition unlocked. We saw Brad. What's gonna happen to Brad? I hope nothing bad. Nothing bad happened to Brad. No, I don't want nothing bad to happen to Brad. How you doing? Sorry, that Bruce got the boy. me. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, bro. Hey. All part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Yeah, be nice to our brother. Be all nice. It's nice, the relationship. Same. And let's talk to Fliss. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Yeah, uh, we put a lot for this. Sorry about earlier. Yeah, sorry about earlier. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Um, so for short. Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experience. If this is your first unreported mm. wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Yeah, uh, I get it. I don't want, I don't want to report. I don't like. Come, come on. You see anyone else out here? Uh, Who's going to know? We logged our route at the harbor. Yeah, if someone well, sees us being disturbed, it ain't the gonna least. be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little... I'm not quite sure about all the, both those answers, actually. You know I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Don't worry. I'm fine. Who's gonna know? Anything hey. else? Hey, back. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Zing. Oh. Am um, I supposed to? Oh, okay. there we go. So, this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. 
Okay. Damn, that's some serious high tech. Pretty hell. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Uh, let's not be playful. Her brother's right there. <laughs> okay, oh, you good. little yep. clownfishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Yes, Con. Oh, nice. I got a knife. Oh, <laughs> definitely nice. Uh, yes, bank stick. Take it, bank stick. Yes. I got the bank stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. I'm liking the idea of a bank stick. Use one? On a shark? Kids. Nope. Good to go. And, uh, the camera. Rules. Yeah. Wait. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. <laughs> Most goofy smart ever, Julia. Jesus. <laughs> and more already. We got the torches. And we're ready to go down. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, 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 dear. Won't you spare me over till another? 